of operations being promoted from IT. Erin, we had the opportunity to bring her as a manager. I've known Roseanne and Leanne forever, and uh, you know they support Tommy Palizza and his selling organization with that Christian crowd out there. So welcome to the new onboarding and sales analytics team. I'm not going to move this. Is that okay, Jim? All right. So what would a sales team be without getting paid at the end of the day? Um, Lots of fun in this territory. So if you are on the um, compensation team, I know I saw Laura and Dan. I don't know if anybody else is here. I don't want to embarrass you. Laura, Dan, I know I saw you guys. I don't know, I'm sorry, I'm like, there's Laura, Dan, stand up, stand up. If anybody else is, welcome to the team. Um, just real quickly, you know, on these guys, I mean, they highlighted out um, very modestly that they moved from quarterly compensation to monthly compensation. I can say as an ex-sales associate to get money in my bank account. Could have done that five years ago, Laura, by the way. That would have been better for me. Um, but they, they oversee, um, and I'm going to miss some things, but I'm going to do my best off memory. I mean, they oversee the independent sales force compensation plans and scorecarding for all of this, the acute sales force compensation plans and scorecarding, the community health centers who we support in this room, compensation and scorecarding, the solution business, MPM outcomes out in uh, Iowa, Kinray now, although I know that there's some questions out there, so we slowly try to integrate that one right then. <laughs> um, never a dull moment for questions on the sales plan coming to this small group of people who um, you know, do yeoman's work and have for many, many years in designing effective compensation plans, but what I'm most proud of and can attest to as an end user of their programs executed very well compensation plans for the sales force at the day. Firm but fair. Um, anything I'm missing there in terms of what else you guys run? Did I cover it all pretty well? All right, well, welcome, welcome to the team. Oh boy. There she is. Teresa. Teresa Ioannidis and team in the Contracting Center of Excellence, a team that used to report to this organization years ago, and now as Jim says, they keep coming back. Right, Jim? <laughs> We're not sure why. <laughs> so anybody on this team, please stand up. And I'm going to ask you to stay standing. Welcome back, Aaron. Um, and, and it's not fair to just single out certain efforts, but I would really say, um, and again, a, a team that, that, that's undersold their highlights. I mean, new contracting tool, Aptis. I got the pleasure of taking on this responsibility with about a month left to go. And, you know, I, I just kept saying nice things to Teresa, and she got through it, and I think we're successfully, for all intents and purposes, integrated. Yeah. Yeah, we feel we're confident. Yes! Come on, that's a huge accomplishment. I mean, that, that standardizes, you guys can sit down, I won't make you stand all day, I'm sorry. I mean, it did mess up PVA Pry, as I saw this weekend, um, but we'll be okay with that. Um, I mean, I'm really proud of this organization. I've known Teresa for years. Teresa, what am I? Exhausting. I'm exhausting. That's what she told me. And I said, now you work for me. You just wait. Um, at, the, at the end of the day, um, that was a monstrous uh, integration into that system. Um, they handled it with, 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 the dig, with just the utmost class that I could imagine, not to go without a lot of stressful moments um, through that. And it, and it was done pretty much flawlessly at the end of the day. So very proud of this team. Not to lose sight on the people who actually work on um, our fees for us at the end of the day. Um, you know, and they do that across national markets, alternate care, into, you know, if it's large enough independent aid, they request for proposals that we get. Might have a new one coming their way not too far from now, potentially. That's interesting. And um, the team that also supports down in Houston, if I have that, that correct, um, the solutions business. So welcome to the team, or back to the team, I guess, right? Um, sales automation and wind watcher. How many people are here today, I see Deb, that work in the wind watcher department? You can stand up. I'm not trying to embarrass you. Well, welcome to the team. I want to welcome you guys as well. Um, so for those of you who don't know, Steve, he, he lives down in the Texas area and is more than likely online. And, um, you know, they have a, a mobile application, which again was, you know, again, I wish I would have had that when I was in the field, but that's fantastic. The new AP calculator, so AP is the largest retail independent buying group, for those of you who don't know, for Steve Lawrence's class of, of trade, ton of generics, ton of sales, and how the new deal compares to the 
older deal as well as how they can get more generics, which is what a lot of our profitability is about, is what this team works on. Uh, Salesforce automation from pipeline management to um, market territory size to sales compensation to compensation exceptions to a variety of other things run. I'm way oversimplified in this tool. Not to mention probably being, well, a lot of us are, but I can say these guys really have been the PMOD 2's best friends over the last couple of uh, months as we look towards Salesforce.com. Um, and the good news is what I didn't know is Dan Anello is married to Lisa Regret, which I did not know, so nothing like having leverage over the PMOD team now. Just joking, Dan, and he's not here. But um, that one was, was, was an interesting that caught me off guard the other day. So welcome to you guys. All right, now to some of the, 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 the older crowd. And I'm going to make everybody stand up because they don't know you guys either, just because you're not new. So Angie Bechtel and team, don't be shy. Right. Oh, folks. Oh. Um, and you guys can sit back down. I'm sorry, I don't know about it. I want to make sure everybody knows who you guys are. Um, so Angie, Megan, Ryan, and their, their teams, while Ryan's team is much more remote um, than, than Megan's team, has gone through, um, and, you can re and you can read the amount of change they've just been in this year. Um, I'm actually going to call out one special point. Actually, one of the things that I'll come to in a little bit is the sharing of talent across these two organizations, I think, is a benefit. And Andrea, I'm not going to single you out and make you stand up one by one. And, I can't see it, but Andrea, oh, there she's in the back, uh, just came from the COE over to this department. So there's a first step of one person that she's waving in the back, um, coming across. But this team has been through a lot of change over the last three years in, in, under Angie's leadership. Um, and Ryan's leadership as well. You know, you know I, I think of you know, bouncing all over the place here. I think of some of the things Ryan's team's accomplished from you know, the CVS DLC process from days and days to minutes um, is just fantastic as well as the day-in, day-out activities of ensuring our accounts are set up, ensuring that they are set up correctly, they're audited appropriately, being that front line of entry, transitioning into a pod structure, which other classes of trade are now looking at to see if they can emulate, um, is a, a fantastic testament to the things that they've done and leaned out, and as Jim sort of said, as you get lean and mean, Jim always says, um, a testament to figuring out how to do things better with less resources. and. Uh, higher quality at the end of the day, which is, over, is sometimes very overlooked in this organization. So thank you for staying, Megan. <laughs> 